All right, welcome back. 1014 this morning. Time to check what's making headlines in Hollywood. TMZ's Charles Latabudier joins us now live with those stories. Good morning, Charles. Hey, good morning. How are you guys doing? We good. are good. Uh, you all have been following the whole J-Lo and Ben situation. So what's the latest? Yeah, uh, another another sign pointing to, and of course, they, uh, neither Ben or Jen, have uh, said anything on the record or publicly about what's going on with their marriage. They continue to live separately. Um, but another sign that this just isn't going well, um, they are listing some of the artwork that they have in their Beverly Hills mansion. This is the $60 million place they bought last year, uh, which we broke the story that they are, uh, they've listed this. Uh, they're very quietly trying to sell it and most likely are going to end up losing uh, a few million dollars. Uh, if, that's if they get asking price. Um, but now they have, there's a report that they're also selling the artwork from in that some inside the mansion. So, you know, if they're selling off the things that they use to furnish that mansion, and we know that they are trying to sell the mansion, we know that Jennifer is looking for a place uh, on her own. We know that Ben is already living in a place on his own in Brentwood. So all the signs are there, even though they're not saying it, they are headed for divorce. And this is most likely what's going on is that they're just trying to hammer out all the details with a mediator. They'll have their uh, all the terms drawn up and then they'll submit it to the court so there won't be any back and forth. There's not gonna be a court battle over this divorce. Yeah, definitely sounds like this is a uh... Headed for divorce, yeah. like you said, headed for the hills, no well, doubt. Well, yeah, and, and and I feel for them, but I can't help but, you know, as you were talking, thinking, wow, it must be nice to live in one home and, and then you sell another home and everything else inside of it to the point you don't have to move that stuff into your current home right. or any of your current well, homes. Well, listen, I mean, they're not doing any of the moving at all anyway. Yeah. Let's, be, let's be clear with that. Uh, <laughs> There's no you all They call now. someone... <laughs> They call someone who calls someone wow. who gets yeah. the movers over there. There's um, no uh, paying and they off their friends with it. pizza and yes. beer, right? <laughs> okay. I know that's a side no. note, but I couldn't help but go there, Charles. Yeah, no, I, I, I think the same thing every time I think about moving. Um, but... <laughs> They move differently than us. <laughs> no doubt. Seriously. Yeah. All right, let's talk about Jamie Foxx yeah. because I saw this update on your website about his health and that he's been talking a little bit about uh, what was almost a year ago, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, this really big yeah. health scare for him. And he said it all started with a headache? Yeah, this was um, a video that um, a, a fan uh, shot when he was in Phoenix. And this was uh, back in April, actually. They said that this video was shot on April 11th, which was the anniversary of when Jamie had this medical crisis. And he was actually talking very openly to some fans and said, look, at, you know, I just remember I had a really bad headache. Turned to my friend, I said, I, I need some Advil. I gave him the Advil and he says that next thing I remember, it was 20 days later, he says he woke up in the hospital. Um, doctors were trying to give him some information about what was happening. And then, and Jamie looks in the video, he looks up at the camera and he says, you know, the doctors, said that there was something, you know, going on up here. And they looked right at the camera and he said, I'm not going to say what it is because I'm on camera. Um, and I don't know if he would have told the fans, even if there wasn't a camera, that he, because to this point, he has not shared any detail. He's told us what he went through and that it was uh, life and death, but he has not said exactly what it was that he went through. What we know is that the facility where he went for um, for physical rehab in in Chicago is renowned for stroke recovery. Mm -hmm. um, so that's all we can surmise at this point. But I would imagine at some point he is going to come forward and tell this the full story. Interesting to see him, though, telling a little bit of it just to some fans on the anniversary uh, when he was in Phoenix. And you so have scary. to give Jamie also a lot of credit. A fan put this out there. His friends, uh, family, we didn't get a peep up until now. And like you said, it's been about yeah. a year ago. So he definitely has a really good tribe mm -hmm. around him. I have to say yeah, that. Close, yeah, very close-knit. Honestly, we I can't remember another time something that yeah. big has happened to a celebrity of that stature and that uh, they are able to keep everything tight. And we only know this because Jamie openly wanted to talk to fans about it. Mm -hmm. And he was aware that someone was recording it the whole time. Right. Um, so he was only saying what he wanted to get out there. So I, I think this is him 
sort of slow rolling out mm -hmm. telling the story and eventually he's going to do it whether it's in a documentary or a special or something like that. All right. Uh, finally, let's talk about this 98 day uh, fiance person who is uh, giving us a lot of TMI in terms of body Way too count. much. <laughs> yeah, um, Shakina Garner. We got her out here in um, got out here in L.A. Now, the guy that she is now engaged to on the show, he's from Turkey. She has moved there and she said that uh, she discovered shortly after meeting him, he opened up and was very honest about the fact that he had slept with 2,500 people. Wow. Now, <laughs> um, that's a lot. There's a funny clip from the show where she sees his bed and the headboard is completely destroyed. And <laughs> now she kind of, she's like, it's kind of weird to think about why his headboard looks like that now that he's told me this number. But oh, what she told us when we got her out here, she said, look, I, I don't think that people should be shaming him because of his body count. Um, she said, I don't think it's, it was a wise move for him to have slept with that many people, or I don't, she said, I don't think he has a lot of integrity and I don't really trust him at this point when she's here in, in LA, she says she's constantly checking in with him and needs reassurance to build some trust. Wow. Um, she, I, <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, yeah. I, I, mean, I guess that's quite the update. And Charles, we urge people to be transparent. And, and then when they're transparent, there's judgment. Yeah, look, there's so, a lot of truth that could come from that. <laughs> but uh, I don't think I know 2,500 people. I don't think I do either. At least that close <laughs> enough. Yes, that's for sure. <laughs> Charles, listen. Thank yes. you. <laughs> thank you so much right. uh, for the latest happening there. Just a reminder: you can catch Charles and the entire TMZ team weeknights at 7:30. After like it or not, right here on Fox 5.